All right, so we have a, uh, a new little toy here that I wanted to review and see what it's all about because there's obviously nothing on the internet really for about this product. Uh, there's a couple like test videos, but it doesn't really show like what you get in the package and so forth. So this is for the Big Blue VTL 3500P. So it is a pretty darn bright light and as you can tell from the, the letters, uh, so this is a video tech light uh, 3500P, I'm not sure what that stands for. Um, I think it's just, just that it has variable functions. Uh, as we can see it is 3500 lumens it is a, a changeable light hood, built-in red light, uh, which is pretty sweet. It has four levels of brightness, uses a big fat battery, uh, removable yellow filter, and uh, like I said, variable angle of light beam, which is really why I bought this. Um, and then it has a you know, battery indicator light, comes with a ball joint for if you're put it, using it on a tray. Um, and then a sturdy glove for hands-free operation, and then, yeah, so then another, you know, just a red light. Anyways, let's get open. Let's get this bad boy open. There we go. Let's see what's inside the box. Ooh, wow. So, this thing is anodized aluminum, and it's pretty hefty. You can just feel from the box. So, this is what this guy looks like. And you can see it has a nice little texture right here, nice little button. And here are the LEDs. So on the outside, it appears these are the, the wide angle beam. Inside you have the narrow 10 degree beam. And I think the angle is 120 degrees for the wide angle. And then 10, 10 degrees for the, inner, uh, the inside one LED. And you have two little red, red lights, which is great for night, for nighttime. Nothing on the bottom, just one button. And then here on the bottom you have a, um, looks like an attachment point for the accessories. So we'll check those out in a second. Let's see what else is in here. All right, so the VTL 3500P. This is lithium ion battery. And this just gives a, some of the some of the instructions, but you know, obviously, as a as a guy, you never read these. Toss those to the side. All right, so here's your battery charger. Nice hefty little guy. I don't know what what other if it charges any other kinds of batteries. Um, for use only with bat. So okay, so it doesn't charge any other batteries except for the uh, 32650 or the 26650. It looks like you can do two types of batteries. Looks like your 18650s will not work. Apparently, I don't know. Uh, this appears to be the attachment point uh, for the the handle grip. Uh, so you would attach this piece right there to the bottom, and it looks like you put some straps through there and put it on this little guy. So this is your hand grip. Um, you just wear it through there, and you put these straps, these Velcro. The Velcro straps right through this little plastic piece right up there. So that way it secures it on there, won't fall out um, in case you know you're paranoid. This goes around your wrist, and this looks like it goes, you know, for your fingers. So you just sort of you'd be wearing it basically like this if I didn't have my dive watch on. Um, which is Cooper Pro, hello. And so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the handle. All right, what else do they give us? Some O-rings, some rubber O-rings. That's always nice. So, sweet, I like that. And this must be the yellow filter. It doesn't look that yellow. It has a very light tinge to it, you know? Can't really, can't really say it's super yellow, but you know, adds a little bit of warmth to your light. Uh, this is yeah, you silicone grease. To lube up those O-rings. Don't want water getting in there. And this is the uh, little ball joint uh, for your, you know, your trays for photography or filming. All right, sweet. So, all right, so let's take a closer look at the light. Take that out. Get this out of the way. 
All right, so before obviously unboxing, um, I did take a look at this um, and I did put the battery in there, but we're gonna take that apart and just take a look at that in one second. Be right back, one, two, and three. All right, we're back. Now this thing is, I disassembled it just so you can take a look. So there's, uh, you have two o, you know, black O-rings right there, which is good for, keep this thing sealed from that salt water. You know what that stuff does. There's your battery cell, it's a 32650, uh, 3.7 volts, 750 milliamp hours. So it's quite a hefty little, little battery. All right. Uh, on the inside of the head, you can see some of the electronics in there. It'd be nice if that was totally sealed off, just in case like a little bit of water, like a droplet, something got in there. You know, I mean, I'm pretty careful with my equipment, but, you know, I, pretty, I try to dry it and rinse it really thoroughly. But, you know, inside these, uh, inside these uh, rings, you know, there could, you could get a little bit of water and uh, potentially drip in there, you know, but I don't know. It seems like it's all right. So, rule of a, rule of thumb is obviously keep your equipment very, very dry. All right, so I'll assemble this back together, and let's see how it performs. I'll be right back. All right, so now with the battery inside fully assembled, let's take a look at the performance. Um, we'll start out first with the most uh, basic sort of maneuver, which is one one click on the uh, little controller knob here. So we'll just click. Boom. So that's 3,500 lumens right there. And let's see, if you press it one more time, this drops, oh no, it turns it off, okay. So if we turn it on and then hit it once more again, that's 1,750. And let's see, we can just cycle through this. One, two, three, and then off. So it has four settings in total. So, um, the first, the first setting is 3,500 lumens, and if you press it again, oh my god, I can't, you have to press it kind of fast here, hold on, so, I don't know, that just turns it off, so one, two, three, four, so those are the four settings. So anyways, um, you can look at the, the uh, description on the how many lumens it produces, so basically after 3,500, it drops down to 1,750. That's level three. Level two is 875, and the very lowest level is 350 lumens. All right. So for the flashlight uh, feature, so like the narrow beam, the 10 the 10 degree uh, beam, you just hold this button down for two seconds, and there we go. You can see a little, very narrow spot beam, and you can tell. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but. It's coming from the center of that flashlight. And then uh, turn it off, you hold it. And then if we want to turn on the red light, it's supposed to be two double taps. So tap, tap. So let's try that. One, two. And there's the red beam. So this is good for nighttime uh, photography. So like if you're, you know, you're searching for your, um, your animal that you want to photograph, but you're not ready to you know, do the 3,500 lumens to scare the crap out of it. Uh, you can look for them with this, and then uh, when you're ready to, you know, get ready to take a picture or, you know, start filming the little animal, little creature, uh, is then you just one tap, boom, and it goes straight to 3,500. Uh, so at that point, you can uh, start filming, tra tracing it around um, the dark, whatever, scaring the crap out of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really excited to use this. And you can see the, the colors. Uh, so blue is for full, you know, or, or fully charged. And then I think uh, the next one is green, which is sort of a lower a lower level, um, sort of medium. So you still have some battery left, but, but prepare to charge it. And then red is you're running on, on fumes, basically. Uh, so you probably drop closer to like 20, maybe 30%. I'll turn this guy off because this thing does get warm like I'm feeling like right now I'm touching this and, and it is quite not like super warm but it's, it's definitely noticeably different than the base the base is nice and cool and this is uh, sort of like a, a warm um, 
like toasty feeling. It's not not hot, but it's definitely warm. So I think it's uh, you know these ribs here probably help you know with some you know dissipating some of that heat, uh, especially underwater, where it definitely will help cool this off. On land, uh, yeah, it's probably not so good for it, uh, just because you have a lot of heat. I'm sure they have like a little microchip in there um, that, that if it does decide to you know get close to overheating. Uh, it'll have like an automatic shutoff, but uh, that is to be seen. Um, I'm not going to push it just because I love taking care of my my gear, my technology. So I'm not going to uh, throw it into the the destruction loop. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let me just do the uh, the little light one more time, the red light. Uh, nope, wait, that one's the wrong one. There we go. So the red light. And there you can see the it's the two bottom LEDs from the the button, um, and then so just so you can see that. Anyways, so yeah, I mean this thing is powerful. It's really bright. I mean it's definitely um, definitely has a lot of uh, a lot of power to it, which is good. I mean like if you if you were underwater filming right now, I mean you can't see the edges. I mean like the edges sort of. Let's see, they kind of creep off. Yeah, so it's, it's really, I mean, the edges are not even really that noticeable. So it's definitely a, uh, you know, very good uh, videography um, light. So anyways, I hope, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, you know, this is my first review of anything sort of, uh, you know, tech related or, you know, especially related to scuba diving. And um, so, yeah, thanks.